Hey, what up, guys? Come to you with the what's next on WBO Super Welterweight Champion Patrick Teixeira. He's currently my number eight uh, Super Welterweight in the world right now at 154. And um, uh, he last fought in November when he won the interim title in an upset and close decision over Carlos, uh, previously undefeated Carlos Adamas on ESPN. Um, a few days later at the WBO convention, they confirmed that Jaime Minguia was vacating the title, so they uh, upgraded him to full champion, and he's been champ ever since. He was supposed to fight on uh, February, or on April um, 25th or 17th, one of those two. He was going to defend the title against uh, undefeated number one contender and former champion Brian Castaño, but in a mandatory title defense, but that fight got scratched due to the coronavirus pandemic, and uh, that it's still supposed to go forward, though, so... We do know that fight's going to be next. Personally, I think he's going to lose to Castaño, but I do think he has a good chance. He, he has a, He's a live underdog, and he's got a chance to win the fight. So if he were to win, what's next for Patrick Teixeira? If he beats Brian Castaño, let's run through the top ten. We start with number one WBC champion, Jermel Charlo. Charlo is going to make an optional defense as well. I still think he'll be world champion. Um, Teixeira, if he were to pull off the upset, I think this fight would be optional. I think it could be made. Um, but this is PBC working with Golden Boy, trying to come to terms, uh, you know, to share Golden Boy, Charlo with the PBC. So it could be made, but Charlo also might be in mandatory uh, defense mode of his WBC belt. We just don't know. He might be willing if he has another belt because he's looking to unify belts. If he has another belt and he has opportunity against Teixeira, maybe he, maybe he vacates the WBC belt. It goes out to Teixeira, but again, you know, they're going to, Golden Boy and uh, PBC are going to have to come to terms. I think it's possible, but I think less likely, you know, um, you know, less than 50% chance. So we'll see, but I, 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 I'm going to say no. Number two is, um, Jesus, uh, unified champion Jason Rosario. Rosario's looking at a, possibly an IBF mandatory next or other stuff. Um, I think it's possible, but Rosario is also with PBC, and um, I. So, but I do still think it's possible. I think, but Golden Boy's got to get together with PBC for it. So, again, I'm going to lean towards the no, but I think it could happen. Number three, former Unified Champ Julian J Rock Williams. I, um, I, if Teixeira beats Castaño, I think he'd want something bigger than J Rock. Not to say he would come, he would say no to it, but I think he'd want something bigger, and I think Golden Boy would want something bigger if they're going to work it out with a PBC, so I don't see it. Number four, Jarrett Hurd, the former Unified Champ, not seeing it. Again, PBC working with Golden Boy. Um, Jarrett Hurd would be a risk, and he doesn't bring any world titles to the table, um, you know, unless he's a world champ at the time, so I'm leaning towards the less likely, but it, I guess it could happen. Number five is Arizlan Lara. Um, not completely ruling it out, but, uh, you know, I think Lara's going to face Charlo, and Teixeira is going to face Castaño. Um, and that, it, Lara would be the underdog going in against Charlo. I think Teixeira is the underdog going in against Castaño. That's looking at two underdogs pull off the upset. It could happen, um, but I don't I don't think both are going to pull it off. Plus, um, Lara, I, it's not to say he wouldn't be down for the fight, but if he pulled off the win over Charlo, there's so many other options in the PBC for him to take that I just don't think um, – uh, Al Heyman would, would would put him in against Teixeira next. So that's just uh, my opinion. Number six, obviously the Castaño fight. Um, after, if he were to beat Castaño, could he fight him again? Absolutely. Because I really do think it's close to a 50-50 fight. I think Castaño I give a, a slight edge to. So maybe a 55-45 I think in favor of Castaño, but it's not much. I think Teixeira has a decent chance of pulling off the win. He can he hits hard and he's a, he's a decent boxer. So I think he could pull it off against Castaño. Um, and if he did and it was close, I could see these guys fighting again. So we'll see. Um, but I lean towards the less likely because, again, PBC working with Golden Boy. Number seven is Tony Harrison, former world champ. Again, I, I just think Golden Boy, I, I don't think Harrison would be, they consider him a risk. I think they'd be interested. But having to work it out with the PBC, you know, Bob Aaron, I mean, the, one side is going to have to have control. And I think Golden Boy, if they're bringing a champion to the table, Harrison's not a champ. They're going to want it to be on the zone. And 
you know, PBC's going to have to agree with that with Tony Harrison, and I just don't see that. Um, to share is number eight. Possibility of infight number nine, Terrell Gache. I just don't think Gache's got a big enough name uh, if Castaño were to pull off the win over Castaño. I, if Teixeira were to beat Castaño, I don't think Gache brings a big enough name right now. I think it's too high risk. And he's a PBC guy. And then lastly, um, Erickson Lubin. Um, Lubin is in line to fight for the WBC title. Plus, I don't think Teixeira would want to fight him anyway. He's a PBC guy and he's high risk. So, you know, uh, Teixeira, he's, you know, lucky this is a mandatory fight to get against Castaño, a top 10 guy. But, um, you know, he's really on, a, on an island by himself because uh, nobody else in this division in the top 10 compete with Golden Boy. And actually, Golden Boy and PBC are rivals unless they have to make a mandatory fight. So, and that, that one, this one was tough to make. I mean, they made it last minute before it got forced um, to be made by, by, the, by the WBC, or WBO. So, you know, it's not an easy fight to make with the PBC and Golden Boy. So, um, hopefully, if the sheriff pulls out the upset, things will open up more. But we just got to wait and see. All right, guys, that's it. That's what's next on WBO Super Welterweight Champion Patrick Teixeira. Hope you enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been here with the truth.